So we'll understand uh, Selenium web driver, how it emerged as a famous tool. So who is behind that and how it emerged into the world. So let's understand. So beginning in the Selenium web driver before, we have a Selenium remote control tool. So the tool name is Selenium remote control. Basically, why they are using multiple tools, you will get a doubt, right? Selenium ID is just a beginner tool. You just it will record and you cannot write the uh, Selenium test cases there in your own programming languages. That's a drawback with Selenium ID. And uh, you cannot run a bunch of more test cases with the Selenium ID. So that's why they have given another tool or tools. One is Selenium Grid, Selenium Remote Control. So Selenium Remote Control is it's just a jar file. It's not tool. You cannot see the interface. Like Selenium ID, we have seen the interface, right? It is visible to you, Selenium ID. You can launch the Selenium ID, then you can do some actions, right? But Selenium remote control, Selenium grid, Selenium web driver, all comes in jar file format. Java archive file format are also different programming languages, libraries they will give. That's it. And you cannot uh, know, uh, launch any so interface of Selenium web driver. So, but let me give you what is this Selenium uh, ID, uh, sorry, Selenium remote control. So let me give you this quick overview of Selenium remote control structure. So basically, the command will go to this one. And what is this, sir, you can ask? Okay. So this is the different browsers we have. And this is the client libraries. So these are the client libraries, we call them. Client libraries. Like client libraries is nothing but Java, C Sharp, Python, Ruby, so JavaScript. So these are the libraries. First your command will reach here. First, your command will reach here. So where, where it will reach? So it will reach. So Selenium Remote Control Server. So it will reach into the server, okay? And then, so here you have a different browsers. Here you have different browsers. Okay, so you have a different browsers. So these browsers are like you have, so for example, you have, so Edge browser. So this one, here you have Chrome browser. So here you have uh, Firefox browser. And uh, you have, Safari browser, okay? So every browser is designed with a JavaScript code. So this is the structure of, uh, so Selenium so remote control architecture. Okay, so what is happening here is, see first your command, this is, this is the where you client libraries means you will write the code here. All your code is here, okay? So code is code is here. So they're like commands. 
all the commands and methods, right? Commands is nothing but a methods. So these methods, so what will happen is uh, each command first should go to server. If server is ready, okay, server is ready, then your command will be supplied to a browser. So it will move that command to browser. So Selenium remote control also designed with the JavaScript code. So, and every browser has a JavaScript language in, in built internally. And uh, this command is designed in the JavaScript and the Selenium remote control will understand the browser internal logic and perform the action on the browser. Then response you will get back. So this is the request. The request will go to server first and the response you will get back. Okay, so this is the how, so the lengthy process. This lengthy process, why lengthy process? If server is not ready, your command won't reach the browser. That means application. Application you will open in the browsers, right? So it won't reach here. If server is also ready and also very slow, lengthy process. Right, first you have to give it to server. Server will send that request to the browsers. Then once the action is done, the response will get back. So there is a mediator here, which, which is delaying the actions. So that Google doesn't like it. Google didn't like that. And then they started a tool called WebDriver. So they started a tool called WebDriver. That is, so they have started a tool WebDriver. So which is going to directly talks to the browser. There is no mediator here. So obviously if there is no mediator, uh, it's very faster, right? So the communication will happen very fast. So that is what the Google has achieved here. So that is called a web driver. So what do we call that? So web driver. So this is the Selenium 1.0 version. So this is the Selenium 1.0 version. Selenium remote control is nothing but Selenium 1.0 version. So web driver, they design, but they don't have all the language supports, multiple language support, multiple browser support, multiple uh, operating system support. All these features they don't have in this web driver. Just a communication they made with the directive browser. There is no server needed in between that. So basically the mediator, they removed it. So which is so designed by Google. This logic is designed by Google. And this entire Selenium is designed by ThoughtWorks company. Okay. So now what they did, and uh, so they went and approached the ThoughtWorks company. Google went and approached the ThoughtWorks company. And uh, so they asked it to merge, except a server concept. They asked it to merge this entire Selenium RC into WebDriver. So they told, okay, we have a good project. So we can combinedly work and make so the automation tool very powerful. So then one big company is joining with them. So that's good for them also, right? And they accepted. So they merged this Selenium 1.0, the Selenium remote control code into a web driver, except a server concept, and they made Selenium web driver. So, so how they made it? So Selenium 1.0 plus web driver. So which is equal to Selenium 2.0, which is equal to Selenium 2.0. So that's where the web driver started into the market. But still, Selenium remote control is there in the market, but nobody is working on the Selenium remote control. Now, completely deprecated. So once this came into picture, they put it aside and everybody migrated to Selenium WebDriver. But still, 
Um, so people has written, right? 2004 to 2009. 2009, this transformation happened. Uh, so, many, so many test cases written by different companies. So that's why they're supporting still, but now everybody moved to web driver only. So now this started at the Selenium 2.0. Selenium 2.0 is not even Selenium web driver. So what is the other name? Selenium web driver started here. That's why you are seeing in the component Selenium web driver. So Selenium web driver now latest version is Selenium 4. Selenium 3 also done. Then 3.x dot x. Now the latest version is Selenium 4.x point x. Almost 4.10. Now 4.10 is there. Okay. 4.10.0. So that recently they released it. Selenium 4.0. So here, Selenium 4 has a lot of revolutionary changes uh, added in the Selenium 2. So that's the introduction how this Selenium came into picture. Selenium web driver came into picture. Okay, any questions here? So here drawbacks are there. The drawbacks overcome in the Selenium web driver. What is that? One is, so the mediator they removed. They made it very fast. So every second is important for the Google, right? Because they have to run lakhs of test cases. Even one second also matters for them. So now here first sending the uh, no command to the server, server will send that to browser, right? So it's a bit lengthy process. So you just think, you know, if there is a mediator between two destinations, obviously it, it takes time. If there is no mediator, it's very faster. That's why Selenium WebDriver is a very, very faster than Selenium RC. And uh, so now Selenium WebDriver is so very popular nowadays. Selenium so WebDriver is more popular now. Okay. And uh, that's how. And the next one is Selenium Grid. Any questions here? Again, Selenium WebDriver also supports all the features of Selenium Remote Control. Multiple browsers it supports, multiple languages it supports, multiple uh, operating systems it supports, and multiple built-in frameworks it supports. Everything, because all the code came here, right? So every feature of Selenium Remote Control came into Selenium WebDriver. And now better, better features added now Selenium 4. So that's the Selenium WebDriver is the main people are going to use now. No more Selenium remote control. So then let's go and discuss the last component if you don't have any doubt. I'm just erasing this, okay? Any questions before erasing? Awesome. Okay. So Selenium WebDriver also comes in jar file format, no interfacing. It comes in jar file format. So that means it's a libraries, okay? So let's clear all the things and we'll see the last one is Selenium Grid. What is mean by Selenium Grid, right? So let's go and understand what is Selenium Grid. So Selenium Grid is, same test cases, whatever you have written in the Selenium web driver, that you can leverage and you can run your test cases in the night time, nightly regression builds. You don't need to write separately. Basically, Selenium grid is a distributed environment where you can run your test cases parallelly on different browser and machine combinations. For example, I want to run Mac and Safari combination. I want to run Linux Firefox. I want to run Windows Edge browser. This all parallel you can run. That configurations you can do with the Selenium Grid concept. That's the beauty of this Selenium Grid. 
basically you can distribute your test cases on different machines different browser and operating system combinations you can run and you can reduce the execution time because it all will run parallel parallel execution you can do with the selenium grid nowadays you know even you can run the selenium test cases selenium grid is providing docker image and you can use it that image everything will be available there you don't need to do anything just import that image a docker image and you can run on the docker image itself your test cases that's a beauty of a selenium 4 features and the main purpose is basically you want to run your test cases and several machines and operating system combinations and this is the one of the best tool for the uh, selenium test cases okay any questions so that's all uh, about the selenium tool and uh, and one more we want uh, if you don't have any questions i'll move on otherwise i'll uh, answer your questions i'm just giving a minute if you have any questions you can uh, shoot Okay, I think no questions. Let's move on. Uh, to, to identify our web page elements, for example, so many elements here, right? How can you identify these elements? Suppose I want to identify these elements, right? How can I identify this element? Right? So these are in the HTML. See, uh, there is ID and there is a name also might be there. Yeah, class is there name also there so which one you want to use which attributes you want to use to identify this edit box or i want to identify this logo how can you identify that so all this we are going to understand and to practice this you need you uh, know uh, whether it is uh, you know highlighting or not identifying or not you need to check right how can you check that so for that, we are using one more tool, Catalan Recorder. So can you all install this also? So Catalan Recorder is a no, replica of Selenium IDE. So um, similar, there is no change. Catalan Recorder for a Chrome. Just type this. Catalan Recorder for Chrome. Okay, so just search it and you can just go to here, Catalan Recorder, Selenium Test Generator. Just click on this. Same, uh, like Selenium ID, how you will add, you will add there. So it's a, again, a extension to the browser. You can see this uh, K inside R. So Catalan Recorder, Selenium Test Generator, add to the Chrome option you will get. Please add to the Chrome. 
and tomorrow I'll tell you how to use this tool and uh, we can continue. If you have any problems, let me know. Okay, then you can just launch it here. So this is the Selenium, I know, like it, similar. So you command target value, same we have seen there, right? That's it. Here also, we have a command target value, log, so you can see different uh, options you have. So we're just going to use this tool for, okay, whether your element is identified by Selenium or not, you can check with this uh, Catalan recorder. So user-friendly tool. First, we are checking here. Then we are going to use that object identification in Selenium WebDriver. That is, that's why we, we are going to use this tool for object identification checking purpose, whether that is working or not, whether Selenium is recognizing or not, to check that. So this will help you. So this is one of the tools. Otherwise, you can browser itself you can use it in the browser itself also, you can find it out. But that I will tell you later, okay? So how to use in the browser itself. So you can find out. So even I, you can write in the browser itself, object identification, but so let's use the Selenium uh, no, Catalan recorder to, to identify your element. Then we can uh, move on, yeah? So any questions before going? So here, see if I want to identify this element. So what I'll simply I'll write here, add a new row. So ID equal to, and this now logo. I can just give this ID value. ID name class values only will use. I'll tell you that. So what are all things you need to use? So it is identified. So like, but here it is not highlighting, but somewhere it will highlight here. <laughs> see, suppose, so I want to identify this logo. So you have now bar logo. You can write class now bar logo. So we go to next row. Class equal to now bar logo. This no need of uh, double quotes. Just give this. Element is not found. Okay. I think this is that twice it came. That's why. Can you see this highlighting? Left to top. Can you all observe that? Yes, sir. So that's the no indication for you. Okay, Selenium is recognizing with this concept. Class of then value, that value. So where you got these values? In the HTML. Because every element has HTML code. So that code you are giving from there. So that's what I'm, I'm going to show, show you tomorrow. That's why you need to know HTML concepts 
and then this tool, what is the purpose, how to use this tool, okay? So tomorrow onwards, uh, tomorrow we don't have a class, right? Next, um, next class will be on uh, um, your uh, my Monday.